In this video, I'll show you how I built this 3D printed guitar and give a brief demo of how it sounds. Please note that all project details, including links to download the STLs and parts list, can be found in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. First, I created a CAD model of the main shape of the guitar body and then added features for the neck, cavities for the pickups and electronics, and features for the output jack and strap post. To print the body of the guitar, I split the model into five main sections so it could be printed on a vast majority of home 3D printers. In my case, I'm printing on a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, which has a build area of 256 by 256 millimeters. I used Bamboo Studio to slice the models. For the center core of the guitar, I increased the info percentage to 40% and increased the number of wall perimeters to six to increase its strength and ensure that it won't flex due to the tension of the guitar strings. Since the outer pieces don't see any significant load, I printed them using 25% infill and two perimeters. All main body components were printed in Jade White Bamboo Lab PLA Basic Filament. For the pickup cover, jack cover, and control knob, I used silver as an accent color and printed all of these parts with 100% infill. For supports, I used organic tree supports for any overhangs as they tend to break away from the parts easier compared to standard supports. To make things easier for you, I've included the 3MF files in the download, which includes all the print settings automatically preloaded. This table summarizes the print time and amount of filament used for each part. If you use the same settings, you can expect to use around 1.5 kilograms of filament and have a total print time of around 29 hours. The guitar body is designed to go together using dowel pins to align the parts during assembly. They are 10 millimeters in diameter and 50 millimeters long, and you can either use wooden or 3D printed parts. I'm using PVC cement and super glue to bond the parts together to one another, and using wood clamps to tightly squeeze the sections together for 24 hours to let the adhesive fully set. The next step in the build is pouring the resin top and in this step, the guitar really starts to come to life. Resin provides added stiffness to the body, helps to achieve a better weight balance, and overall adds to the aesthetic of the design. Prior to pouring the resin, I recommend using liquid super glue to seal the gaps between the parts to prevent it from seeping between the seams. You also want to make sure your work surface is as level as possible to ensure the resin is flat when it cures. I'm using a two-part epoxy made by JB Weld which is a great option because it's clear and rock solid when it sets. I used the CAD model to calculate the volume of resin needed and determined that this guitar requires about 200 milliliters of epoxy. Therefore, I used about 100 milliliters of part A and 100 milliliters of part B. I'm using black diamond mica powder to give the epoxy a sparkly colorful look to it. I chose to use imperial pink red, purple haze, and silver pearl. I thoroughly mixed the powder into the part A resin and then added part B. Next comes the satisfying step of pouring the resin and in this step I recommend taking your time to prevent spilling or overflowing. I like to add a bit of a textured look by using a wooden stick to create a swirl pattern. I typically repeat this step a couple of times in the first hour or so to ensure the swirl will remain present as the resin cures. After waiting a full 24 hours for the resin to fully set, the next step is to assemble the neck and electronics. I'm using a Telecaster neck that has a width of 55 millimeters and a height of 24 millimeters. I'm using a Telecaster bridge and pickup set that I purchased on Amazon. I've also cut a piece of 24 gauge wire that will be used to ground the bridge. Due to my lack of soldering skills, I'm once again using an obsidian wire solderless electronics kit, which comes with a pre-wired control plate as well as an output jack. You'll also need strap posts and the associated hardware for all the components. First, feed the bridge ground wire as shown and tape it into place. Then feed the wires through the hole to the electronics compartment and fasten the bridge to the body. Next, mount the jack to the 3D printed jack cover, feed the wires, and then mount it to the body using four screws. The neck pickup then gets mounted to the 3D printed cover using the included hardware and then mounted to the guitar body using four screws. After pressing the neck into the body, it gets bolted on using the neck plate and four screws. 
Now we're ready to make the wiring connections, which is fairly straightforward as you simply follow the included wiring diagram. The instructions recommend six millimeters of exposed wire for a proper connection, and then you simply press the tab down, insert the wire, and release. Don't forget to connect the bridge ground wire, which can be inserted into any of the spare ground slots. Then simply mount the electronics assembly to the body using two screws. To install the strap post, insert M4 square nuts into the slots and then fasten them into place. Lastly, it's time to string up the guitar and then the build is officially complete. Overall, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. For those of you wondering, the final weight of the guitar is a little over six pounds. To me, the guitar weight is well distributed and feels well balanced in my hands. Now it's time to finally plug this thing in and see how it plays. I'm certainly not the best person to demonstrate the guitar's sound quality, but here's a quick demo anyways. As always, if you enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing to support the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave those in the comment section below. This design, as well as all of my other designs, are available on my website, the3dprintzone.com including the STL files to print the body of the guitar and a parts list for other components such as the neck and electronics. And for those of you who can't make up your mind which guitar to build, check out my Patreon where you get unlimited access to a growing library of designs. I would encourage anyone who's looking for a fun project to consider building one yourself and adding your own flair to it. I'm already working on several other 3D printed guitars, so stay tuned for upcoming videos and designs. Also, leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for future designs. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.